Hey guys, my name is Rayon Hudson, and in today's video, I'm going to be making an edit inspired by um, Jessica Cabasi and a little by um, Mark Clennon. You guys can follow both of them on Instagram below. All right, so basically the look that we're trying to create is a look like this. Wait. So I'm trying to create this look. So this is the before and this is the after. What you want to know about the, about this edit is that it I did a little bit of split toning. I put the highlights as yellow and I put up I put up the saturation to 47 and for the shadows I put it towards like a pink purple type of you know look and the saturation is 14. Let's do it to this photo. So first, as you can see that this photo is overexposed and also it's not, you know, aligned properly. So I'm gonna click auto to, you know, straighten it out. For the exposure, I'm going to like bring that down. Let's go back to the other photo that was at negative 70. Okay, so you got negative 70. We bring up the contrast. And lower the highlights. Bring up shadows a little. Lower whites. Bring down the highlights a little bit more. And I think the, oh no, the blacks was up. And I also added in um, clarity as well, because I like clarity in the photo. I bring down the vibrance to like, cause the photo is a little like too, too saturated. So I'll bring down the vibrance to like about 21. I'm gonna be like playing around with the HSL sliders anyway. So yeah, bring down the saturation to like, wait, what was it on the other one? Negative 10. As a matter of fact, let's bring up the vibrance, the vibrance again. It was like 14, 15. So for the tone curve, I make like, I make three points. So one over here for the, I think that's the um, shadows right here and um, the midtones. And I think this is the highlight. I think so. Um, and then we're gonna bring down. Actually, this is not how I did it. So let me um, undo all this. I think I did it like this. Like I brought down the um, shadows, brought up the midtones. Um, I think I brought down the highlights a little bit. Also, I brought down, you know, the highlights up here. Please don't. All right. So any professional photographer that's watching this, please do not, you know, get mad at me for not using the right terms. This is actually a really good edit right here from the before picture. Um, but we're still going to play around with it. So for the other photo, we brought down the saturation of the orange to about like 21. And also we played around with the camera calibration. Now, what I do is I put, I changed my profile from Adobe standard to camera neutral. Um, let's see what's the difference. Okay. I don't know. I feel like it adds a little bit more contrast. I don't know. So. Yeah. Um, I brought up the shadows to five. Um, for the tint and for the red primary, I brought up the hue to one. For this, for the saturation, I brought it up to twenty-five.
All right, for the green primary, I brought the hue up to 42. Um, saturation was negative 43. And for the blue primary, I brought up the hue to plus 12. Then I brought down the saturation to negative 6. Alright, so we got those settings there, so yeah, um, also what you want to do is you want to click on enable profile corrections. I didn't, I don't think I did it for this photo, like for the other one, no I didn't, but we're going to do it for this one. Let's see, let's see if the tone curve is correct. Oh wait, I think it was a little wrong. Hold on. And I think that's good right there. I didn't play around with the other channels like red, green, and blue because I usually like mess it up and for those like it I like I don't know how to use those. Those just like kinda confuse me, so yeah. Um for the red hue, we're gonna bring that up to nine. And the orange hue, we're gonna bring that down to negative three. Then the we're gonna go down to saturation now. Um, bring the red to plus two. Uh, yellows, yellow negative 52, and green negative 72. Alright, so I think that pretty much like changed the photo. Oh wait, no it didn't. <laughs> So, let's see, the aqua is negative 21 and the blue is negative 19, so negative 21 and, and um, negative 19. And then I brought down the purple and the magenta negative 53 and negative 35 negative 53 and negative 35 all right so now the luminance let's see what i did with that so i brought down the luminance to negative neg the luminance of the orange to negative seven i think Wait. yeah negative eight um, and that's it so now, here's the split toning. So basically what I did is I clicked on um, this yellow thing right here, the yellow for the highlights, and I brought that to 47 for the saturation and the shadows. It's like a pink, or like a pink purple type of color, I don't know. Like, I think it's purple. Let's just, you know, look at the number. 273. And I think it was 14 I brought that up to. Oh, wait. I actually got it correct. So, I think from... I think we're done here. Well, not really, but like, let's see what we did with the shadows. So, the shadows was... Let's bring up the exposure a little bit. 
and I think that's it right there but I think okay I lower down the temperature but I don't think that really matters so maybe not if you're going to like for like a vintage type of look then I feel like you should bring it like you should make it more warm But yeah, I think that's good right there. So that's pretty much how you get like the vintage type of look. Well, this is my ver this is my version of how I edit like Jessica Casey. I don't know. You can you guys can judge for yourself. I I I think this looks kind of like Jessica Casey's um, photo. Alright guys, so hopefully this tutorial was helpful. So this is the before and this is the after. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more of these videos. Also, Happy New Year. Um, and yeah, uh, give this video a thumbs up if you if it was helpful and if you liked it.